Okay, here's another thing that DaVinci isn't as user-friendly with as Premiere Pro, and it has to do with importing videos or video files. So for example, I've got these screen captures that I'm doing that I'm using to record these tutorials with, and the screen capture software I use records at 15 frames per second. Now I want to turn one of these screen captures into a tutorial. So I normally, with a video file, you could just drag and drop it in to DaVinci. Same thing with Premiere Pro, you drag and drop it. But in this case, no matter how I try to import the media, it will not import. And it doesn't give you an error or anything like that, it just doesn't show up. So I have a feeling there's different causes and different resolutions for this. This particular case, how I resolved it, and you can even look online, you can see there's tons of videos and forum conversations about this very issue. So how I solved it, this might work for you, this might not. If it does not work for you, don't get all pissy and leave me a thumbs down and leave comments. This just happened to work in this particular scenario. Okay, so what I did is I installed Handbrake, which is a free conversion software so you take Handbrake, once you've installed it, uh, just do a search, online search for Handbrake. Uh, what's nice about it is it's a video transcorder and it's free. When you've got it installed, go ahead and open a video file. Go to wherever it is that you've got that video saved at. Select on it. Hit open. I went for MP4 and I went for fast 10, 1080p at 30 frames per second. And for my file destination, I'm just gonna put it back in that same file folder where I started. And I'm gonna name it, save it, and start encoding. I'm gonna speed up the video. Okay, now that that's done, back into DaVinci and import my media. And there it is, DaVinci Import. That was the test one I did. Hit open, and notice now it imported the file so I can actually use it. So this is one of those scenarios where, yes, Premiere Pro is a hell of a lot better when it comes to working with different frame rates and file formats, but you get what you pay for. DaVinci is a hell of a lot cheaper, so sometimes you just got to find a workaround. In this case, this workaround worked for me in order to get that video format into something that DaVinci is willing to work with. All right, hopes it worked. Hope it worked for you. And once again, if it doesn't work for you, don't complain.